In today's video, I'm just going to take a look at a um, setup that we had recently in Celgene. And actually, I did prefer the lower areas of support here, but when we did end up holding above the symmetry support at this 138 area, I decided to take a look and see if I would get a trigger that told me that it was worth placing a bet. And guess what? Not all of these setups are going to work. So what happened here was I did see a buy trigger. You know, we did take out a prior swing high and we did uh, have the moving average cross over the upside. But what my plan says is that I have to define my risk either underneath the zone or underneath the low that was made prior to the buy trigger. So I got stopped out of this one. But what do we do next? Well, I do have the lower zones that I'm still interested in, but I do have to wait for a new trigger that tells me that once again, it's worth placing a bet. So, you know, when you're wrong on these, you want to get out pretty quickly. When you're right, you typically get quite a bit more than what you're risking because, you know, if, for example, we do end up making a low into this next zone, our upside potential is really healthy and our risk is relatively small compared to what we have as far as uh, the potential to make. So anyway, just remember if the market doesn't do what it's supposed to do, get out.